as you guys know i am a jury main in street fighter 6 but i am on the lookout for a secondary in the game since i do think that jury struggles with some matchups like guile and chun li so for the past few days i have been playing marissa because i feel like she probably does pretty well against these characters from what i've seen there's a lot of other characters i'm considering too like i think jp still does pretty good even though he got nerfed a bit i think possibly akuma could do well too so i've been playing him too but today we're going to be trying out marissa some more in rank but since i I've learned Marissa a bit I can finally understand what her buffs were all about in this previous season so I'm gonna go over I think the two main buffs first in training mode and then we'll go into the rank matches right after all right so I'm sure a lot of you guys know that Marissa had like these safe jumps in the corner all right so like after EX in the corner you can do the charge heavy punch into light superman punch you get the safe jump after the safe jump you get plus 11 which is really good because if you look at command grab it's a 13 frame st startup i think so it's basically a meaty command grab or a meaty forward heavy kick so it's basically a 50 50 after the safe jump um auto timed and for those of you guys that don't know what i mean by safe jump um basically it just is a jump in that uh, is safe against dps because it basically lands right in time uh, the startup of the DP is too slow to actually anti-air it. And there's like a magic number for safe jumps in this game, if you don't know, um, which is plus 42. If you're plus 42, you're going to be beating 5 frame DPs. If you're plus 41, that's also kind of a safe jump because you'll be able to beat 6 frame DPs like DJs. And obviously against characters without a DP, you're going to just jump in on them for free. But 42 is the magic number. And now she not only gets the normal jump in, but she's also able to get a charge uh, heavy kick or heavy punch, whatever heavy button you want to press pretty much. It's a bit tricky, the timing. You have to kind of delay the heavy kick. I think maybe the heavy punch one you don't have to delay, but depending on the spacing, I think maybe it whiffs. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I've just been doing the heavy kick one and delaying it, but this one is plus 18. And you might think plus 18, plus 11, they're pretty much the same thing, but no, they're not. And the reason is that she has charge back heavy punch, which is 20 frames so you can frame trap into this you can actually press a button and then this is plus four you can actually do this and also frame trap into this so now you're also thinking well they just block all of that that's not too bad right um but i'm gonna set them to block all brother two more than two drive gauge bars just from blocking all of that compared to before you would do this right so it's one and a half but it's a big difference from that to basically you know it's like a lot of drive gauge now obviously you can exdp or parry or whatever um but just having this real threat and then she can just wait react to a parry like bait out an exdp and hard punish like you're not really gonna want to be doing that against marissa so this is a pretty big buff to her i think and then the second one is this target combo i think just has more juggle points i'm not sure exactly what they changed about it um but she gets this combo now which is pretty crazy off of a whiff punish stand heavy kick i think a lot of her optimal routes actually changed like i think so like this is 49.41 um, and instead you do this into this and it's 53.45 so I'm not sure exactly the optimal routes but most of the time I think you do want to actually go into this for optimal damage and then also after EX you can do it I think I've seen Schreier do like this into this as a frame kill. You're plus 10, so you get a meaty command grab. Um, off of the heavy one, you're a little bit less advantaged, so you don't actually get it. Um, but also in the corner, I think you can do it like this at least. So yeah, I'm not sure the exact optimal routes, but in any case, a lot of the combo routes that she does have to cash out, she does a decent amount more damage. And I think the safe jump actually is probably the biggest buff about her because she's just gonna be obliterating drive gauge. All right, hopefully that was insightful for those of you that didn't know about the Marissa buffs. And let's get into some ranked matches where I'll see if Marissa is a good fit for me as a secondary. Come on guys, that was crazy. Oh. 
No. I'm not dead. Uh oh. Bro, I be reversaled. Be reversal. That doesn't work. I keep trying to DP and then I realize Marissa doesn't have a DP. Do that again. I got something for that. Bro, how am I a sweat if I just saw what he did and counter it? It's not like I did it the first time. Where are you going? His defense is crazy. <laughs> no. I can't open him up. Please, please, please! Just have to make sure. I don't want to be a jury player anymore. Say that so aggressively. Get the level two. Bro, why does he keep getting hit? Oh, 
watch this, watch this. You know what I mean? There's a winnable. He's not winnable, he jumped. Oh, oh. oh he keeps dashing after that. Should have done the light one. All right, that's gonna do it for the video. I think Marissa's a lot of fun, but yeah, you definitely can feel the power when playing Marissa. I've been having a lot of fun playing her. I'll probably play her at least a little bit more to keep trying her. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the video. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a subscribe. A lot of you guys watch the videos but aren't subscribed, so it helps a lot when you hit that red subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one.